Today we're going to talk about simplifying fractions. So the way you simplify a fraction is you divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor. Okay, so let's review. The numerator is the top number of the fraction, the denominator is the bottom number of the fraction, and a common factor, that just means something that they are both divisible by. So the important thing here is they both have to be divisible by the same number. So you can't divide the top by one thing and the bottom by another thing. Let's use 10 over 15 as an example. I could divide 10 by two and I could divide 15 by five, but that wouldn't work because those are not the same number. You have to be dividing by the same number. But 10 is also divisible by five, so that means they have that in common. And you can remember that any number that ends in zero or five is divisible by five. So I can use my divisibility rules to know that I can divide both of these by five. 10 divided by five is gonna give me two, and 15 divided by five is going to give me three. So 10 over 15 is the same thing as two thirds. A real life example of this would be if you had a pizza that was cut into 15 slices. If you ate 10 of the slices, then you really ate two thirds of that pizza. There would be one third left over. Okay, let's do a few more examples. Six and 18. There are a few different things we could divide by here, but one easy thing that I see is I see that both of those are even numbers. So remember, anything that ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero is an even number. So I could start by dividing both of them by two. And again, that's not our only option. This is just one way that we could do this. And when you divide something by two, you're just cutting it in half. So half of six is three, and half of 18 is nine. Now, are we done? No, because three and nine have a common factor of three. So if you can still divide by something, you're not done. So three and nine can both be divided by three. Three divided by three gives me one, and nine divided by three gives me three. Now I'm done because I can't divide by anything except for a one, and if you divide by one, it's gonna stay the same. Okay, another one we could do, three over 12. The only thing I can divide three by is three, uh, and I can divide 12 by three, so that's gonna work. Three divided by three gives me one, and 12 divided by three gives me four. So these are just equivalent fractions, but we're dividing them as far down as we can so that they're in their simplest form. Okay, and then my, my last example is 3 fourths. I put this on here because I want you to remember that you cannot always simplify a fraction. It might already be in simplest form. So again, three, the only thing I could divide by is three or one. We don't wanna divide by one because that's just gonna give me the same thing again. And if I divide by three, I'd have to be able to divide four by three. Three does not go into four evenly, so that's not gonna work. I could divide four by two or four, but neither one of those goes into three evenly. So that tells us that this is already in simplest form and there's nothing that we need to do there. Okay, feel free to watch this video over again if you're still having trouble or let me know and I can help you some more. Thanks.